to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Stephanus. Happy birthday to you. I see a future chairman of a Fortune 500 company. I see a famous rat. I eat success for breakfast with, with skim, skim milk. milk. Pounds you can apply, and that is out, out of here, here mister. And we Excuse are gonna me, do it Mr. Vader? This better be important. Yes, sir, it, it absolutely is. You know how critical my morning motivational moments are to me. Yes, my lord, we, we all know how important that is to, to you. Uh, long story short, it looks like you've... We, I, have overbooked your schedule for today. Uh, a noon conference call with TK7715 addressing payroll cuts, and a, uh, a noontime boardroom meeting with TK0412 discussing, um, notes, notes. Oh, here we go. Uh, discussing how the new Death Star is severely over budget. And another conference call scheduled for noon with TK1219. TK1219. He's the uh, the lead stormtrooper in the HR department. Apparently there have been some sexual harassment claims filed by workers in the mailroom. Would you like me to reschedule all of these appointments, my lord? No. Leave them to me. Oh, uh, Lord Vader, we were just discussing you that we- You have failed me for the last time. Uh my lord? You have failed me for the last no, time. No. Uh, 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 what did I do? Uh. Um, who was the last one? Uh, that would be TK1219 in HR. Oh yeah, thank you. Hey Lord Vader, I was just you checking up on- You have failed me for the last time. Uh. Is there anything else? Nope. Uh, schedule looks clear to me. Have a good day. Let me know if anything comes up. I am uh, Darth Vader's personal assistant. My daily duties include me making sure all of Vader's appointments are in order. Uh, I take his cape to the dry cleaner once a week, and uh, I clean his breathing apparatus daily. You know, just stuff that he really doesn't have time to deal with. Sure, I, I guess I have to put up with a lot of mundane tasks, but uh, being Darth Vader's personal assistant definitely has its privileges. Hey, man. Hey, hey, can you turn your headphones down a bit? I, I can, I can hear it. Hey, my lord, uh, I just thought you should know. TK0830 was talking about... Um, I shouldn't. What is it? Tell me. Well, well, he... TK0830 was saying how you're not really that great of a leader, and how you could never fill the shoes of Grand Moff Tarkin, and he was saying that... It I think so, down at the uh, the West Court. Hey, what are you guys up to? A few of us are gonna go get a game of uh, pickup basketball going. You wanna play? Basketball? Yeah. Have you uh, have you filled out your ORM paperwork? Ah, uh, it's just kind of a spur of the moment thing. <laughs> you both know that activities not officially sanctioned or organized by your chain of command must be filed, and operational risk management forms must be filled out. Uh, it's just basketball. I don't care. Hey, I'd love to play basketball too, but we all have to play by the rules. No ORM paperwork, no basketball. It's important that we follow guidelines. But what would the Galactic Empire be if we didn't? Especially when those guidelines aim to analyze and identify every possible risk factor before any activity is conducted, which is what ORM does. We have to protect our soldiers, sometimes from themselves. A game of five-on-five -five basketball could easily turn into ten broken ankles. I take my job very serious. 
Operational risk management paperwork is there for a reason. Rules are rules. If we didn't have ORM paperwork, then soldiers would be having barbecues and playing football. They might, they might go snowboarding on Hoth or ride around on a jet ski on Naboo. You file the paperwork, you identify, and avoid risks. Scoot a, scoot a little more to the left. I can't get the body in frame. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, sir. And you are? TK3110, Moss Eisley Garrison, Echo Company. Echo Company. What happened here? Sir, instructions came down that diverted our patrol to find two droids. A Jawa convoy informed us that those two droids were sold to one Owen Lars. We traced them to here. And? When we arrived, an individual by the name of Baru Lars was outside. She immediately ran inside the homestead. We then set up a defensive perimeter and instructed her to come outside. Approximately 10 minutes later, Owen and Baru Lars came out, each armed with a DL-44 blaster and began firing on our patrol. I then gave the order to fire, and the threat was neutralized. Have you prepared your incident report? Not yet, sir. My men are currently establishing a perimeter around the homestead. I deem the incident report secondary to our safety. <sighs> Article 1.1 TAC 38 of the Uniform Code of Imperial Justice clearly states, and I quote, Ground forces involved in armed conflict must immediately report the incident on a UCIJ 185 TAC 42 form. A handwritten second-by-second -second account of the incident is required. Failure to do so will result in non-judicial punishment and, if deemed necessary by the service member's chain of command, court-martial. I know what the UCIJ says, sir. Doesn't seem like you do. Sir, the safety of my men is paramount. I don't have time to write an incident report in the field. We'll see what the brass has to say about your failure to follow instructions. I am sick of dealing with incompetence. I'm sick of dealing with these desk jockeys. It's always me, me, me. I need this. I need that. All they talk about is file this, file that, fill this out, and make sure you sign here. They don't know what it's like to have to keep track of all this stuff. You want an incident report? Then come down here, sweetheart. Be a part of the incident. And write the damn report yourself. The fleet moves because of my pen. The fleet exists. And this guy has a job because of my E-11. Don't let him fool you. He comes off as a nice guy, but he'll stay stab you in the back in a heartbeat. Typical Blue Falcon. Ah! Uh, please don't shoot, please don't shoot. I'll tell you anything you want to know.